Sebastian has had to say goodbye to all the people he loves best, even Anne-Marie. All because people couldn't understand that Belle was a harmless, innocent dog. Heading off into the unknown, Sebastian sets out to find his mother, who disappeared so many years ago. He doesn't know when he'll be back. After a long day's walk, Sebastian and Belle have escaped the search party. Even though they can see only desolate countryside, at least they're safe. <laughs> oh, Belle, it's all right now. At last, we're not being chased anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's safe, Gucci leads Belle off to run and play. They can all cheer up and forget the danger of the recent past. Gucci and Belle become fast friends, and for a short time, everything seems fine.
incredible. <laughs> I'm sure we can get a good price for her. us out. We were in a terrible mess for a minute. Why are you out here? Well, um, you know, you were really great, wasn't he, Fernandez? Huh? Oh, yeah, really great. Wait, great? Who, me? Sure. Who else? Well, you sure did chase those wolves away. Oh, no. It was really Belle who chased them away. You've got a point. <clears throat> That's really very modest of you to say, boy. I just ran away. Really? I know you plan to do that just to keep the wolves off guard, but I can tell you're a pretty smart boy. Hey! <gasps> I've never met a boy who is as brave as you. Hey? I haven't either. And where do you two come from? Well, um, from very far away. Far away? Then where are you going? That way. Which way is that way? Okay. It doesn't really matter in any way. It's getting dark, so why don't we spend the night at our house? At your house? It's close by. We'll prepare a huge feast as a token of our appreciation to you. Uh, we're all pretty hungry. So, let's go. What's the matter, Belle? You shouldn't be afraid of these two men. It's all right now. They're going to feed all of us and give us a nice, warm place to stay for the night. That's right. But we have to hurry before it gets too late. We'll take good care of you. We should go. And so the unsuspecting threesome follow along through the confusing rocky paths and deserted mountainsides. Our humble abode. This is where the both of you live? Sure, this is our house. After you. Thanks. Not you, stupid. Just go first. Silly me. Uh, Please, just come this way. After you. Thank you. Is there something wrong, Belle? You're just hungry. Now wait right out here and I'll bring you some food in a little while. That's the perfect solution, my little friend. Now, let's go inside and get some chow. <laughs> Compliments of our gourmet chef. I really hope you approve. <laughs> hope you approve. To tell you the truth, I was starving. Then by all means, go ahead and help yourself. Yeah, help yourself. Would you feed Belle? Sure, we'll bring food to Belle right away. Yeah, food to Belle. Well, I guess we'd better begin. Let's dig in. So, wise guy, now what are you going to do with them? <laughs> he looks like a smart boy, Hernandez. What if he suspects what we're really doing here? That we're actually smugglers, then what? <laughs> Don't talk so loud, you idiot, when he hears you. Fernandez. 
is. Did you see that dog? Someone's going to pay big bucks for that mutt, believe me. Sam? Oh, mm. will you please try not to shoot your big mouth off? And you know I can't hear you when you speak quietly? Can't speak loudly, can't speak quietly. Why don't you just not speak at all? But the dog belongs to that boy. <laughs> not for long. That dog's going to be ours soon. Good. I'm so full. Hey, Poochie. Don't yawn. Don't fall asleep. We've got to find our beds. <laughs> They're both asleep. Here's our chance. Our uh, chance. Let's both you and I slip outside, and then we can tie that big dog up. And then what should we do? We'll ride into town and sell it before anyone knows the difference. Pretty bam. I brought a nice piece of bread for you to eat. Here, catch. It tastes good. Uh, she doesn't seem very happy with us, does she? She's money in the bank. Don't be so scared. Yeah. Hmm. Here, girl. Be a good dog and stay still for us. Now. Hey! Yeah, you hold still. Wait. Hey! Oh, boy. Hey! Really hard. What's going on? Huh? Your vicious dog attacked us. Bill? Why? Because we've decided we're gonna take your dog. We've decided. Huh? No! <laughs> Don't try anything dumb, because we're going to nab that dog and sell it. Is that what you wanted from us all along? That's right. You're pretty smart, kid. <laughs> That's right. Honesty is always the best policy. You're wrong. You'll never get Bill away from me. No, you're wrong. Give me that dog. No. Mm -hmm. ah! Ooh, ah! Hold that. Hey. Ah! Ah! Watch it. Your head is as hard as a rock. My head is. Okay, Bell, let's go. Hold it. Stop. <laughs> you knew all along. That's why you tried to stop me. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to what you said. I don't care how fast that dog runs, they'll never beat this truck. Never beat a truck. Let's get some speed out of this engine. What's up, Bill? Uh oh, let's hurry. This way. I see them. Yep. <laughs> Hurry, Bill! We've got him! <laughs> ah. This is awful. Can't you drive? 
have any more smoothie than this? I can't help it. This road is full of these bumps. I'm going to be full of bumps soon if you don't watch out. Ow! <laughs> Please, drive more carefully. There are too many huge rocks on this road. Oh, oh! Oh, oh! I hit my tongue. Ah, oh. oh, be quiet. We'd better keep going, though. That kid's gonna pay dearly for making my head full of bumps. Yeah, he's gonna pay all right. They're still behind us. Run! Can't you see I'm busy driving? Huh? But, but, that way. Can't you understand what I said? I understood what you said. And went that way? Huh? Huh? Hey! Huh? Why didn't you tell me that before? Ouch! <laughs> Having no alternative, Belle does what she has to do. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think it would be wise if we forgot about them. Hernandez never gives up. Huh? What do you think you're doing? Just what? Uh -huh. Like a measly dog and that kid can do it, so can this truck. Stop this truck. You stop. Stop it now. <laughs> What do we do? Hmm. I know. There they go! Oh, I'll get you back for this, you pipsqueak! No one makes a fool of me and gets away with it! Yeah, we'll get you back. Our three tired travelers come upon a village hidden in the valley. They'll go there next, seeking refuge. Hernandez and Fernandez are not far behind. But racing down the hill to town, Belle and Sebastian look forward to new adventures to come. <laughs>